Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki. Uh, doing Iron Man World at War Part 14. And here we go. Here, this is Obscure Terry D Day Beach Landing. <laughs> uh, stick with our squad, we may be alive. Well, that's a, that's a joke. Uh, as you can see here, there's plenty of field artillery being blasted at us. Plenty of uh, Green vehicles being taken out, tons of uh, mach machine gun pits, uh, plenty of green soldier reinforcements, and uh, not a lot of idea where to go other than up the cliffs. So we'll just take this one step at a time and trial and error it and see how we go. Um, as you can tell with most D-Day references, that means that probably there's a high risk of you dying to something that blows up. And here's our second line. Uh, that line's being grenaded. Seems there's a tan grenadier up there and a tan rifleman up there. Uh, we'll try to lob grenades. My first grenade threw too far and the other one threw too short. As you can tell, I'm really bad at grenade throwing, which is why I hardly use the dang things. And that whole squad got annihilated. And I accidentally switched to binos, and then I got grenaded, and then landed on a landmine. <laughs> yes, there's landmines, just to give you that extra D-Day feel. <laughs> Well, they, they wanted to go for uh, Army Man and World at War. They definitely done it. Jeez Louise. And now you can see why I called this a, a World War II reference video in my test video rather than a Vietnam video. Is uh, many like to state that Army Man has a lot more of Vietnam era equipment. This is more World War II style, as you can see with trains and. Well, D-Day <laughs> was the best example alive out there. Like I said, we'll just take this one step at a time and see how we go. Unfortunately, they're giving us grenades, which is like the worst weapon for me. I need a bazooka or a mortar or something. I need something with some power. Grenades just aren't going to do the job. And there's another uh, large machine gun pit, followed by uh, a, a couple of machine gun pits, which are being uh, engaging my uh, green reinforcements down the beach line. And I'll try to help them out. Seems he's being a hard target, though. Let's see if we can take him out this way. Okay, I give up. Let's shoot this other guy. See if we can get some green rushers up here. Now he's down. This guy keeps popping up and down, showing more advanced AI than the other, uh, than his predecessors. And it looks like there's a 50 cal over there. Not sure what we can do with the 50 cal, but there's 50 cal over there. As you can see, my men have started to advance now. We'll go ahead and man the 50 cal, see if we can engage something. And there's a melted green guy. Ooh, that's a bad sign. Looks like there's some guys up there, but my uh, 50 cal just can't reach them. And there's nothing else to engage, making this 50 cal rather useless. So we'll flank them, see where we're going that way. Don't seem like the most observant sort. So they're easily dispatched and my lines advanced again. We have some more reinforcements. Unfortunately, no bazooka ammo yet. It's still grenades. Well, hi guys. Uh oh. There's a there's a tan tank. And 
all I have is these pissy hand grenades. No cover, what to mention, and pissy hand grenades. I guess what they expect you to do is bum rush it. But I got blasted there. None of my guys had a, a bazooka. They were all riflemen. What a bad luck. Bad luck on that one. Anyway, now we have somewhat of where we're going. So we'll wait for the artillery strike to come in, start taking out the machine gun pits again, while our uh, friendly there is crawling. Auto aim is a little bit of a help here. Uh, that looks like they barricaded that pass, so we're gonna come up with it another way. Like I said, this is one of the good functions of auto aim. Just to hit those little pesky buggers. Uh, Go ahead and take these out. Might be easier just to flank them. As you can see here, easy shot through the uh, fencing. Not the intended way to do it, but we can do it that way. Still, I kind of wish they would give us some bazooka ammo or some mortar ammo. That would be a thousand times more effective than grenades. Now to rush up the speech line. We know the machine gun pits are over here. We're going to take them out. Try not to get hit this time. Looks like I'm just too short to it and it auto uh, puts me in in kneel position, so I have to go further up the line. I get winged, but I take him out. Now I'll start taking out these guys. He's going to be a pain in the butt, I can tell. So rather than just deal with them, I'm just going to bayonet charge him. Fixed bayonet. Wait for him to stand up. Wait for him to stand up. And there he goes. And his mate's down over there. We're going to bayonet him. And we got to reset our bayonet. We hit him once, but we got to do it again. And that knocked him out. We're going to flank these two guys. They weren't so observant, I noticed, last time. So let's see if we can get, we can get a good bayonet on them. Wasn't close enough on the first one. Luckily, his mate didn't notice me, so he got bayoneted in the back of the head. <laughs> okay, I, I, since we know there's a tank coming, we gotta find some. There, we have to find some sort of bazooka ammo here. Gotta be something here. Unfortunately, what we run into is a landmine. So this is Vicky signing out. Uh, thank you.